A moment of truth for the Lebanese Prime Minister-designate, who's presented a fresh proposal to the President to form a cabinet made up of 24 ministers. I believe this government would be able to start working seriously on preventing economic collapse. I am hoping for an answer from the President this Thursday. It's not the first time Saad Hariri has attempted to end almost nine months of political deadlock. But observers suggest it may be his last amid reports he's preparing to step down after multiple cabinet proposals failed to secure the presidential seal of approval. Lebanon has been without a government since the previous one resigned in the wake of the port blast that killed more than 200 people in Beirut last August. It later emerged that officials had known an explosive substance was unsafely stored at the harbour, but an investigation has yet to hold anyone to account. Relatives of the victims claim that political interference has derailed the process. They're demanding that officials summoned for questioning shouldn't be protected. We want the immunity to be lifted and to get justice and truth. That's all we want. We're not asking for the impossible. On a visit to the port this week, a French minister again warned that Paris would impose sanctions on any officials found to be blocking the formation of a new government. The ruling class has been blamed for decades of corruption and mismanagement that have brought Lebanon to the brink of bankruptcy.